Hello, freak bitches. People really enjoy you when they're the only ones who know about you. And then as you start getting bigger and bigger, they start looking for holes. Yeah, we blew that up early, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, blew that, we blew that up really early. We made a lot of enemies really early, which is crazy because, I mean, the enemies I made in the early 90s, I mean, I still have them. I mean, they're still sort of lurking out there in various holes. It's weird. It's like those, those, those you know, inner scene rivalries never end, you know? Between bands or? It's like I, I've had weird experiences with, like, People, not with Nirvana people, but like people who were in the Nirvana world, there's still like this weird, like, because I'm from Pumpkin World. Right. Like, sometimes I'll have weird stuff happen and I'll dig down and find out it was like somebody who used to work in Nirvana World trying to cut my ankles 27 years later. Like, so weird. Like, so parochial. The whole Nirvana scene is a very strange scene. You know, whenever the, the main guy commits suicide in this oddly conspiratorial way mm. did you watch that fucked up movie that soaked no because i was I, a lot of people don't know but i was like sort of around for a lot of that stuff so i know a lot of stuff that i've never sort of talked about mm -hmm. so for me watching that stuff is like it's a it's replaying something i don't want to replay and b i know a lot of the stuff is not based on fact because i was around for a lot of it Right. And no one's ever talked to me about it. So people tried to pimp me out like in a Q&A with fans and ask me questions like I'm suddenly going to talk about it. It's right. like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that that documentary was so strange. It's like, how does someone get away with that? Like the recreations? Like if you weren't there, you don't know what the fuck they said. So if you don't know what the fuck they said and you're putting words in these actors' mouths and yeah. having them play it out, like what? Is, you're just... This, this should be illegal like because you're kind of you know what I'm saying? It's like you're cre and especially when you're talking about a murder mystery. Yeah, like you're you're you're, uh, you're saying that it wasn't a suicide you're, you're you're at least putting out the idea that it might be a murder mm. and the way you're doing it is by manufacturing Words that you have no idea if they were ever said yeah. it's just complete fiction. Yeah. Yeah, so like that's I I I, I, I was around for the before sort of during and and certainly a lot after and i know a lot of stuff that again i know is not in the public domain and so i i go with what i know right you know what i mean yeah but it's that that whole nirvana thing was i mean i remember the first time i heard nirvana i was a, a kid in boston and um this buddy of mine played it for us and we were we had never heard anything like that we were like whoa yeah like this is a, this is Great, a new thing yeah. just fantastic a new thing right like yeah. a new like and here's a crazy and little boston statistic for you we once played it was nirvana pumpkins and bullet la volta we played at that little club it was like an alt club across from fenway i can't remember what it's called oh. axis or right right yeah but you know what i'm talking about but yeah. it, we played there like i don't know 92 it wasn't even sold out oh wow <laughs> that's like amazing 700 people kind of thing that's 700 people with an awesome story yeah yeah right <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs>